Welcome back to having a glow part three. And so in the previous lesson, we created this ghetto inverse square approximation rig, and we're gonna continue with that. In this part, we're going to talk about intensity and thresholding, how they work together and how we can utilize those. They might seem trivial and incredibly simple, but there's a bit more than meets the eye. So let's go ahead and do a demonstration. Here I have a ramp and I've got our a glow rig here and the ramp goes from red and cycles through all the colors back to red and this is just going to show us all the different colors that we that we could possibly get and currently we have the threshold set to zero and this is what we're getting so i'm going to take a snapshot here and if you take away one thing from this tutorial series it is that higher threshold equals richer deeper glows but with high threshold comes high responsibility. So if we increase the threshold to say 50, now there are less pixels considered in the glow, so we need to increase the intensity to compensate for that. We are getting much richer, deeper colors if we compare it here. The problem is, is parts of the color spectrum are blowing out, such as the yellow and the cyan. Blue has these weird things going on here, and that just exacerbates the higher you go. So let's go now. Threshold of 80, and again, increase the intensity to compensate. The colors get richer, the problems and artifacts just get worse. A low threshold equals an easy life, but less colorful, less vibrant image, higher threshold, higher reward, but more problems. So let's take this into our hello world example and let's make this richer. Let's increase the threshold to 50 and up the intensity. Okay, and that's what we've got. We can see we've got a lot of glow here and not so much in other places. Now let's get our hands dirty, do the manual grunt work of actually brightening the parts of the image up that we want to and darkening others. Unfortunately, the secret to having a good glow is a lot of manual tweaking. But if we want a good result, we have to work for it. So let's go ahead. This one here, I'm gonna call brighten because it's gonna brighten parts of the image up. We may want to darken other parts of the image. And the thing is, we don't wanna just brighten up the whole image because that's gonna, I don't know, it's just gonna look too uniform and not attractive. So let's brighten up just parts of the image that we think need brightening. And that looks good. Now let's just add feathering to all these. And not only are we gonna brighten certain images, we're gonna darken other parts because it looks at just a bit too uniform at the moment. Okay, that's a good starting point. Now what I'm gonna do is come in and add some super bright parts. So let's call this extra bright. And you don't want these to be very large. You just want very small isolated areas to add extra detail. So I'm gonna come in here, draw some small areas. Add an exposure of one, and then feather them out. So that's looking pretty good as a template. So now I'm just gonna take that and place it around. Okay, that's looking good. Manually tweaked the luminance. Now let's manually tweak the hue. Add an adjustment layer, add hue saturation, and I'm just gonna rename that. And let's just add it to the whole image to see which parts look good and which parts look bad if we increase the hue, or rotate the hue by 40 degrees. And of course we want that to happen before the glow, otherwise we're gonna just get bonkers results like we have there. Okay, so what I like is I like the sort of orange looks here. Um, we're getting some more pushing towards cyan here, which I don't really like. So I'm gonna keep this more on the world part and not worry about it so much on hello. And let's feather these out. Now that's sort of darkened the glow result. I want to increase the exposure of this a bit. Okay, nice and vibrant. So that was hue and saturation. We rotated it positive. I'm gonna duplicate this and call this one minus. Then I'm gonna remove the masks, remove the exposure, and let's go minus in the other, let's go in the other direction, see what we get. I really like what's happening with this hello here. So let's try and blend this with the sort of green color that we're getting.
Okay, that's adding some nice color here. The only problem is again, different hues, different uh, luminance levels. So we'll need to come in and manually brighten these parts up. So I'm gonna add some extra bright down here. And I'm just gonna go ahead and keep manually tweaking this and I'll see you when that's done. And this is where we are at the moment, looking pretty good, but we can do better. So in the next part of the tutorial series, what we're gonna do is add some more style to this, and that's gonna be a lot less tedious and a bit more fun. So see you there.